life as a YouTuber and my full-time job and income is creating videos. But this month, I decided to start a new little venture, a side hustle taking photos, and I've made an extra $1,000 in income. So side hustles, I've been seeing this term a lot, and today I wanted to talk about it, how I created one. Do you have a side hustle you wanna start? Let me know in the comments the steps I took, why you should do it or why you shouldn't do it. So let's get into it. By definition, a side hustle is any type of employment undertaken in addition to a full-time job. So for me personally, I make videos as a full-time job. I'm seriously creating videos like a nine to five at least eight hours of my day. So in addition, I decided to add on freelance photography shoot. On a day that I'm doing my photo shoot side hustle, I'm still working eight hours a day doing video creation and then I do a one hour photo shoot on top of that. So that's like nine hours of work at least, which is a lot. Side hustles are great for those who are creative or anyone looking to make some extra cash, but something that's really important to take into account is time. Ultimately, time is the most important thing any of us have, and when you're tacking on a side hustle, you are losing some of your time. I find it really important to enjoy and be passionate about your side hustle. Because if you aren't, what is the point of wasting extra time when you already have a full-time job and you're working enough? For me, I did a photo shoot rather than go to happy hour with my friends. And it was like, I wanted to go to happy hour with my friends, I wanted to have that time, but I sacrificed it for my side hustle. Those little things like that, where you have to think about, is it worth it for you to have a side hustle? So, why did I start a side hustle? I live comfortably and make enough money with what I do as a YouTuber, but I did think it'd be fun to have a little bit of extra income. I think a lot of times with side hustles, people see this extra income as like their fun money that they can spend on frivolous little luxuries like a silk pillow. Yes, I just bought a silk pillow last night with my side hustle money. I wanted it, okay? When it's this extra income, I think you can look at it as guilt-free fun spending. So that's kind of a reason I wanted to do it, to just be able to buy little things in life and feel guilt-free about it because this was just an extra job I was doing. Does anyone else think like that? Because I think like that and I think it's really fun. I don't know. Also, I was getting super burnt out and bored of my everyday job that is videography and creating videos. So switching it up to photography has kept everything so much more fun and fresh. It just helps me balance out life a little bit more. I'm doing my videography, but I can look forward to like doing my fun little side hustle that I do as more of a passion. So here are the steps that I took to create a successful side hustle, and maybe these can help you too. Step one, I basically just wrote down a bunch of things that I was pretty good at. Like, good enough that someone would pay me for it. Step two was to narrow it down and decide to focus on one skill. For me, I decided to focus on photography. It was something new, it's not something that I do a lot, and I know there's definitely a demand for people wanting photos. Especially in this day and age, people always want to get their photo taken. So, I knew it was something that maybe I could generate an income doing. Step three, I made sure I was actually good at it. So I took the camera that I had and I YouTube searched a bunch of tutorials on how to take photos. I practiced on my friends. I made sure I was comfortable doing paid shoots and that I would actually do a good job at it. Also something to note, I already had the means to make this happen. I already had a camera. And if you don't, are you willing to invest in your side hustle? Maybe something to think about is you can buy a film camera for like a hundred dollars and these take incredible photos. Maybe just buy a $100 film camera, start taking some really cool photos of your friends, and market yourself as a film photographer. That is seriously a way that you could make a side hustle investing only $100. So ask yourself how much are you willing to invest? Once I was fully confident in my abilities, I moved on to step four, which was advertising my services. Okay, so the first thing I did was sign up on Shutter.com and put up a listing as a photographer. I really like Shutter.com because I can separate it from my normal life. When I want to go into my side hustle, I can log on to Shutter, I can look at my bookings and my inbox. It's a good way to put your name out there and show your work. And it's super easy for people to just book you and pay on the website and get paid yourself instantly once people book you. Step five, actually really advertising yourself and getting clients. You know, when you put yourself out there, the saying, if you build it, they will come is super not true. You have to advertise yourself and strategically do so. I started with a 24 hour, 50% off sale. So people had 24 hours to book me and get 
a 50% off shoot anytime in the future. This was a really successful tactic for me. I had 25 bookings within that 24 hours. So I literally went from never doing shoots to having 25 bookings, like 25 clients. So they each paid $50. What's 50 times 25? I don't know, calculator, 50 times. Ooh, that's like $1,200. So I made $1,200 in the first month of my side hustle. This was also really great to do since I was new at it. It took off a little bit of the pressure. Like people are spending only $50 on this shoe. So like if something were to turn out kind of bad, like it, it, it's not like they were spending $500 on a photo shoot, you know? Um, luckily, I think all the shoots so far have turned out amazing. Here's how some of my first photo shoots went. I'm super excited. I'm doing a shutter photo shoot for a girl named Irene. I think they turned out Good. Yeah, I love them. Okay. Yeah, okay. Today's shutter shoot is for a guy named Jason. Just finished shooting with Jason. How'd it go? It went amazing. I'm so I think today's gonna be a great shoot. I think it's been a really fair deal for $50. People were getting 60 to 80 edited photos. They could switch into whatever outfits they want, just whatever they want within the hour. So this was really great for me because I quickly picked up a lot of new skills, like how to pose people, how to make people feel comfortable taking photos, new places to go, the better lighting of the day. Like I became a better photographer very quickly within the first few bookings I had. Step six, advertise yourself on social media. So I made a separate Instagram just for my photography side hustle. It's called at Monica Church Photos. You can go ahead and go follow it. Just saying, I follow all my clients back. And basically I just started posting my work on there. The more of these 50% off bookings I completed, the more photos I had that I was proud of. So I was sharing my work on Instagram for people to see. And the more I started sharing that, the more I started getting bookings for my full rate of $100 an hour. So now I got this business going where people are booking me for my full rate for these photo shoots and it's super fun. And I created this little side hustle for myself. So that is how I successfully started my own side hustle and made an extra $1,000 of income within the first month. It's fun having a little extra cash, but the real reason I wanted to do it was to have something to be passionate and creative about again. I am feeling so much more fulfilled by having this side hustle. And I think that's something a lot of people feel. Maybe you're a receptionist as your nine to five and then you go home and you're creating artwork and selling it on Etsy and you're really passionate about it. Like it's so fun having something that makes you feel fulfilled and it just makes you feel so much better about life. And when I started taking these photos, I started exploring my city more. I started meeting really cool people. And then the personal feeling of being able to take someone's photos and give it to them, hearing their response when they get it and they're really excited about their photos, like there's nothing better than that. And it's a very different feeling than just making a YouTube video for the general public. It's really just like sparked my energy again. Just finished shooting. Today, there's just something in me more creative. I got a couple new angles that I hadn't thought of before so I'm really excited so that's it guys thank you for watching um, if you want to book me for your photo or video shoot you absolutely can I'll have it linked below if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my different Instagrams and my roommate's cat has an Instagram too if you want to follow that too just go follow crazy with the Instagrams um, I'll see you guys next week bye come on ten dollars <laughs> You know what? We're just gonna go like...